You didn't go to the Bruce Springsteen concert, did you? I did at Amy Park. It was did you take, absolutely take your amazing. Leave, your government car? Uh, no, I took uh, my designated driver, uh, the wife. Um, she paid for the tickets. It was my birthday present. Uh, and I sat in the stand. It was fantastic. Why didn't you use the limo? It was a birthday present, Al. Um, and my wife and I, uh, and my son, who's also a Springsteen fan because he has fantastic taste, uh, came along and we had a great time. But look... You know there's two ministers being criticised for using their limos to go to... Uh, publicly funded limos to go to Hanging Rock for Springsteen. Yeah, well, I wonder where all this ends, to be honest, Neil, quite frankly. Um, if... if uh, essentially, ministers can't use their, uh, uh, their the provision of their driver in the circumstances. I understand uh, Minister Allen uh, was uh, at the invite of a company, and of course, a lot of those corporate functions do require a fair degree of engagement. Uh, and it it looks, it feels, and it sounds a lot like a work uh, function. I tend to avoid them as much as I can because I'd like to just sit there and enjoy Bruce at his best. So it's work to go to a Springsteen concert and spend five minutes with the promoter beforehand? I think uh, you'll find that at those events, um, uh, and I I've ha have attended such events uh, you know, in the deep, dark past, uh, I'd make the view that uh, you walk home pretty much exhausted because everybody who's there wants to talk to you about something of relevance to the government. And the same applies to the Attorney-General? Well, I don't know what his circumstances were. He was but there I'm with sure. his limo. Yeah, but I, as I say, I've heard uh, what Minister Allen has said. I read the, the press around it. I'm sure that uh, Minister Pakula makes uh, uh, appropriate usage of his vehicle. But we do need to recognise that when uh, ministers are out and about, uh, we've got to decide exactly at what point do we draw the line on this. And uh, my view is it's better to have ministers uh, adequately provided for getting to and from events, especially if they're required to undertake work at those events, and I don't think there's any doubt that they would have been the subject of uh, lobbying, discussion. Uh, it's important that our ministers do get out and about. Do you think we're going a bit far with this pub test business? No, look, I, I think, firstly, if, if we're talking in a broader sense, um, uh, I, I, I think we've, we've got to recognise that the communities, uh, at a, it, their tolerance is at an end. Now, I've previously on this program and uh, elsewhere said that, uh, look, you can't replace common sense with rules, uh, but it appears that uh, we're going to have to do a lot more in this space because for whatever reason, um, people are not doing the right thing. Uh, uh, it might not technically be a breach of the rules, but quite frankly, politicians have to hold themselves to a higher level of account, and I think the government is committed to ensuring that happens.